tutorial and this is the look that I was actually wearing in my last video which is my June favourites video and so many of you guys commented asking for a tutorial on that look so here it is. Um, you asked for it and you got it. Um, I also posted a picture of this eye makeup on my Instagram not too long ago as well um, and yeah so it's a look that I really really like. It's great for like nights out, for an evening, for like clubbing, a special occasion or if you really want to make your eyes the focus feature then this is a really good makeup look for that. Um, in my last video I was wearing a pale nude lipstick but this time I'm wearing a glossy nude lip so yeah I just thought I'd try something different and yeah I really hope you enjoy watching this tutorial and yeah enjoy! Hey guys, so as usual I've started off with my brows already done just to speed things up. I have got a full tutorial on that so I'll link it down below for you. So I'm starting off with the eye makeup first and I'm taking Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC as a base for the shadows all over, all the way up to the brow bone. And then I'm taking a Pro Longwear MAC eyeshadow in Uninterrupted. Um, I believe it might be getting discontinued so if you've got it, lucky. If you haven't, Saddle by MAC or any like warm kind of brow will work you could even use a bronzer even so that's gonna go through the crease and above it so that's our transition shade then I'm taking nylon eyeshadow by Mac and I'm being quite generous when I apply this on the inner corners of my eye and then I'm taking this along the brow bone as well and this is really going to lift the brows up um, and it's really gonna help open up the eyes so I'm just applying this with a pencil brush to help me get a bit more precision and then I'm just taking my blending brush again and just making sure that there are no harsh lines. Then I've got my Anastasia Beverly Hills Catwalk Palette and I'm taking this dark brown shade from the palette. There aren't any names for it so it's the dark brown one. And on a 217 blending brush I'm really just pushing that shade on the outer corner of my eye and I'm also winging the eyeshadow out just because I really want to extend um, the eye out so that's why I have taken the eyeshadow out quite far from my eye um, and you'll see how it will look when the look gets pulled together later. So I'm also just taking this same eyeshadow through the crease as well and I'm just building up this eyeshadow until I get it as dark as I can. So then I'm just doing the same method on the other eye and as you can see I'm really just pushing the eyeshadow onto that part of the eye and making sure that it's softly blended at the top as well and it blends into um, the transition shade. Then I'm taking the black eyeshadow from the same palette and this black eyeshadow is amazing, it's really really nice and dark and I'm just taking this over the top of the dark brown eyeshadow uh, just for some more depth on the outer corner of the eye. So I just keep applying more and then blending again until I'm happy with how dark it is on the outer corner and I've got the right amount of depth. Then I'm just taking my soft ochre paint pot again and I'm just going over the top of the lid just because I really want a clean base for the next step uh, just so that the next eyeshadow or pigment is really going to pop. So then just taking Naked Pigment by MAC, which is such a gorgeous shade, I'm pushing this over the first two thirds of the eye. And then I'm just going back in with the same blending brush that I was using before with no extra product on it and I'm just blending that into the Naked Pigment and then using the same brush that I used with the pigment to blend it back into the outer third so that there's kind of like a soft uh, fade. And then just taking a makeup wipe to clean up the eyeshadow and make sure that there's a nice sharp line. And then I've got my Maybelline Black Gel Liner and I'm taking this all the way across my eye. And I'm not actually creating a winged liner, I'm creating more of a point on the inner corner of my eye instead of creating a wing because you can kind of see that there's a wing naturally from the eyeshadow anyway. Um, I did have to get super close to my, um, to my mirror which is why I couldn't film me doing the whole line. Then I'm taking my NARS Illuminating Cream um, in the shade Copacabana and I'm pressing this all over my skin and I clearly look like Tin Woman. And then I've got my Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation which you know is my favourite and I'm just stippling this all over my face. If you can see, I'm just pushing it over the skin. I'm not really buffing it in, I'm really really pushing it. That way you get maximum coverage out of the foundation and I just love this technique. It also makes your, uh, your foundation look 
flawless like Beyonce and you know I love looking like Beyonce well trying to anyway <laughs> and then to cover up those dark circles I've got my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and my MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in the shade Light Boost all the shades for everything else will also be down below so if you want to check those out then you can do so I'm just taking this underneath my eyes and you can see how creamy this concealer is it's amazing and then uh, just taking Light Boost over the top of that to highlight and I'm just taking this on my forehead down the center of my nose on my cupid's bow and also just underneath my cheekbones to accentuate the contour that I will create later and then I'm just going to use my Sigma tapered kabuki brush which is amazing to blend everything out I love this brush because it just fits in all the little crevices of your face even though it's quite big it just fits in perfectly and I love it so yeah it just picks up excess product too so yeah I'm just blending all of that out and then I'm obviously going to set it with my favourite powder, Ben Nye Banana Powder, of course, because this stuff is just foolproof. I know that if I wear this and I'm going out on a night out and I need my makeup to last, it is not going to crease, it's not going to come off with this powder. So I like to pack that on just in the highlighted areas um, and also down my T-zone because that is where I'm going to get shiny and oily as well. Um, so it just helps keep those areas matte too. Then I've got my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the old packaging, of course. Um, and in, this is in the shade medium dark and I'm just taking this lightly over the top of my skin everywhere just to set the rest of the makeup. So just moving swiftly back onto the eye makeup, I'm just taking the dark brown shade from the same catwalk palette all the way along the lower lash line and I'm making it meet up and join the top lash line and then just on the outer third of the lower lash line I'm just taking the black eyeshadow just to create some more depth on the outer corners of the eye. Moving on to lashes, I'm just applying a few coats of mascara to my top lashes before I apply some gorgeous velour lashes and I'll leave the name of them down below in the description box and these just complete the look I think. I think they really really glam up the makeup look and lashes are a must for this makeup look. Um, yeah, so I love them, that's lashes on and then I've got my Sephora waterproof eyeliner. You can take any black pencil you like, this is just the one that suits my eyes because I'm a contact lens wearer and I'm just taking this in my waterline. For contouring, I've got my MAC Pro Sculpt Powder, which you can only get from pro stores or online. And this is my favourite contouring shade uh, or powder, just because it gives you the right amount of depth and shadow to your face, which is obviously what contouring is. So I just love, love, love this powder. I'm also taking this in the hollows of my cheeks and onto my temple slightly too. And then just to warm up my skin, I've got my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer in the shade Deep. And I'm taking this along my contour and on the temples of my forehead just to warm up the skin like I mentioned and deepen it up a little bit. And then moving on to highlighter, which is my favourite bit. You can see that I'm very excited to have Jaclyn Hill's um, highlighter that she made with Becca. And this is in the shade Champagne Pop. And this is absolutely beautiful. It's such a dream. So I'm just taking this along my cheekbones and also on my forehead, in the centre of my forehead, and down the bridge of my nose as well. And I really love to highlight. So I do like to apply this quite heavily and go a little bit cray cray with it. But who doesn't love a highlight eh? <laughs> For blusher I just wanted something a little subtle so I've got this gorgeous mineralized blush by MAC and it's in the shade Warm Soul and I'm just taking this along the apples of my cheeks and slightly up towards my temples as well and then I'm just finishing off the eyes with some bottom lash mascara and this is Extended Play by MAC which I love. And then moving on to lips, I've got stripped down lip pencil, which I'm lining my lips with and filling them in with two. So this is going all over the lips. You can of course leave the lips matte with just the lip pencil all over it because that looks quite nice too. But I'm going to finish it off with this gloss from MAC and this is in the shade Love Nectar and this is what the lips look like with the gloss over the top of the lip pencil and this is the finished look. guys for 
this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below letting me know what other videos you would love to see. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do just to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And make sure you're following me on Instagram, Twitter, and whatever else. All of the links are going to be down below for you, um, as well as a list of all the products that I have used. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you all in my next video. Mwah.